I've got the perfect solution to solving what is the golden milk to cereal ratio and it involves giving you a device to be able to select how much milk and how much cereal you want because believe it or not after 25 years of life I still question to this day what is the perfect cereal to milk ratio. I mean on one hand I've seen people who love to smash cereal completely dry and then on the other hand people just love to swim in a pool of milk while consuming their breakfast. And I can confidently tell you that the internet simply does not agree with the level of milk I have in my cereal which is really Really not much at all, but that's my preference and you can have your preference too, all with the click of a couple of buttons. Actually, let's just make this as easy as possible and put no buttons in it at all and make it as automated as possible. Luckily with something called Engineering 101, I can use 3D printing, electronics and coding to solve this problem that very clearly exists. And with most of my solutions, I started with a 3D model. So without getting too fancy, the first iteration of this design involved a cereal container that had a hinged flap to dispense my cereal. This design also dictated what components I would need to get this thing to work, which made me decide to use a photoresistor, submersible pump, a potentiometer, and of course, a microcontroller. By putting the sensor at a certain height, I can get any amount of cereal I like, which sends a signal to the Arduino and a dialed in amount of milk via the potentiometer, which gives me the amount of milk which I specify. So then I modeled these components into Fusion 360 to make sure everything would fit nicely together. I then sent that off to my 3D printer while I enjoyed my very last manually poured cereal and milk. And after a total printing time of 18 hours and roughly $15 of filament used, we are now ready to design our circuit. And even though we have a very successful print, there's multiple design flaws, which is just too much to go over that I didn't realize until actually putting it together. So let's uh, throw this thing out and go back into Fusion 360, shall we? Back over to the 3D print, we're gonna coat the internals in a food safe epoxy to keep all of those nasties away from my cereal. And as a disclaimer, this does not guarantee food safety on your 3D printed parts. If you would like to eat out of 3D printed parts though, please understand it is at your own risk, as there is a large debate on the internet out of whether eating out of 3D printed parts is food safe or not, which is beyond the scope of this video. Now the beauty of knowing exactly what components I need into a project means that I can custom design a circuit and have it fabricated for me in the back end. And that's exactly what the sponsor of today's video, PCBWay, helps us accomplish. By utilizing PCBWay, you can design any custom made circuit and upload your design to the PCBWay website. The PCBWay will then fabricate a circuit board for your project, which makes soldering and wiring much easier, as all you need to do is plug your components into their allocated locations. PCBWay also offer additional services such as CNC machining and 3D printing, which is ultra convenient when you need 3D printed parts for a project yet don't have access to a 3D printer. After my custom circuit boards arrived, it was time to plug the components I previously mentioned together and get this thing to work. I'm then going to whack my circuit onto the cereal container and now I think it's time to have our first automated cereal. Now I don't even know if this thing is going to work properly so I'm going to test it with a chemical known as dihydrogen monoxide. I'm just going to drop it in. Alright, alright, let's uh, yeah, like it's quite simple, let's just, I, I think I forgot to plug it in. Yep, sorry, bear with me. Oh, it, yep, it's uh, coming out, that's for sure, really damn quick and it's not leaking through the joints. Damn, that is a really high flow rate. We're going to be getting a lot of milk in our cereal. Oh wait, that's not good. I can see a slight leak from one of the joints there. Um, sh we need more epoxy! Now for this video, I'm going to use my favorite cereal, which is Reese's Peanut Butter Puffs. So let's just whack this thing in here and give it a go. Oh, that works. Just bend it in a bit. And in traditional Aquaman fashion, powering on in three, two, one. <laughs> Still got to dial the settings in. So, for the first one, we're going to go the lowest possible amount of milk. Actually, I'm going to go just above, just above, so like a turn above, and the lowest possible amount of cereal. Let's bloody test this out. <laughs> I don't know, I, I, the ratio is okay. Like, attempt number one, we got a little bit of milk and a little bit of cereal. Let's do the exact same. Now I'm gonna go heaps of milk and the same level of cereal. But we're gonna just crank this guy all the way up. All right, let's go.
Yes, that is the perfect ratio. Pack your bags and go home, the video is done. I've just solved the problem. That is the perfect ratio of cereal. See ya. Okay, now I'm thinking we go the complete opposite. We go heaps of cereal and like bugger all milk, right? Let's, let's give that a go. Okay, so I kind of changed my mind here. Let's go a lot of cereal, but let's go a reasonable amount of milk. Oh my God. Okay, so now we have dialed the milk a fair way up and put the cereal one level down and I'm feeling good about this. I feel like I'm gonna hit my ratio here. So, well, my preferred ratio, sorry. Let's give it a go. Okay, let's have a look at that. All right, so having a look, we've got quite a few peanut butter thingies, peanut butter Reese's and a bit of milk. That is the perfect ratio for me. Like, that's how I like my cereal. Not too much milk, heaps of cereal. That's me personally, okay? That's me personally. I'm not even saying this because I'm saying the project worked. There's so many imperfections with this thing. But the idea is you can change between about four settings of how much cereal you want. And it's not just the cereal, but also the amount of milk that you would like to dose with that cereal. And now that I've shown that this thing can pour the perfect ratio of cereal, depending on the settings you put in, it's time to test it with this Aussie favorite. Milo. Let's rip into it. <clears throat> We've just received news that a young man has been confirmed dead after it was reported that he was consuming food and beverages from 3D printed plastic. Now, although he did coat the internals in what was believed to be a food safe epoxy resin, this was later deemed to be misinformation. I guess some of us just learned the hard way. In his dying breath, it was reported that he did state, please like and subscribe to Engineering Dads on YouTube. Up next, we will be talking about how the government plans to abolish. And before the comment section starts blowing up with arguments about what the right cereal to milk ratio is, perhaps one or two comments on what necessary or unnecessary problems you would like to see us solve next. But regardless, like, comment and subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on the action. Catch you next time.